Genome video series from the National Cancer Institute, Ovarian Cancer. Did you know that the rates of new diagnoses and deaths from ovarian cancer are declining? The ovaries are a pair of organs in the female reproductive system that produce eggs and sex hormones. Ovarian epithelial carcinomas are the most common type of ovarian cancer. Another common type of ovarian cancer is ovarian germ cell tumor, which begins in the egg-forming germ cells of the ovary and usually occurs in teenage girls or young women. Ovarian cancer is relatively rare and is the eighth most common type of cancer in women. However, it is the fifth leading cause of cancer death for women in the United States. Overall, ovarian cancer is most common among women ages 55 to 64. It is most often diagnosed among white women, followed by Hispanic, American Indian and Alaska Native, Black and Asian and Pacific Islander women. Ovarian cancer is difficult to diagnose early because there are few signs or symptoms before it has spread outside of the ovaries. Almost eight out of 10 patients are diagnosed with ovarian cancer after the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Survival is higher when ovarian cancer is detected at the localized stage or before the cancer has spread outside the ovaries. The survival rate is lower for women who have been diagnosed after the cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes and other organs, as shown by the regional and distant columns of this graph. The overall five-year relative survival rate for ovarian cancer is 46%. This means that for every 100 women diagnosed with ovarian cancer, about 46 will still be alive five years after diagnosis. For some patients, entering a clinical trial may be the best treatment option. Visit cancer.gov slash clinical trials for more information. Five to 10% of ovarian cancers are caused by inherited BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene changes. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force recommends women with a family history of breast, ovarian, fallopian tube, or peritoneal cancer receive genetic counseling and genetic testing to find out if they are positive for these mutations. Women who test positive should talk with their doctor about what preventive measures are best for them. For more information on ovarian cancer, go to cancer.gov or call 1-800-4-CANCER. For more cancer statistics, go to seer.cancer.gov.